November the 30th, 2023. Guys, at 6, 12 p.m. Central Time. As I'm going through the charts that I'm about to go through, I decided to record it. I'm just going to let you see it as we do it. And uh, I will put some links so that you guys that are interested in the science and technology, it, it is a very good study. And we can it would teach people, in my opinion, how to watch for these type of events in the future. But we're going to start this morning. At that time, the incoming solar wind speed from the sun was 426 kilometers per second, which is very fast. Proton density at 6.7 proton centimeter cubed. This yellow band indicates our magnetopause, our shields. This band is the satellites that are going around the planet that have to do with this type of information. And they're color-coded, and you can look to the left over here and see which one's which. And the planet uh, is facing the sun from the left side. Let's play it through. Wait, let me say one other thing. The standoff distance is 11.25 RE, and the RE is the distance from the center of the Earth, the radius to the outer side. So if you come out here to 5 RE and 10 RE, then that's 10 times the radius of the planet. That's what it stands for. It's normally at around 12. It's just a little under that now. We're going to, again, look at it. We'll play through the day. We'll stop it there at our current time, which, again, it will be just there five hours ahead of us, so we're going to be very close to midnight there. We'll take a look at it as we end it to see which frame is last for them. Play it forward. Again, energy from the sun's coming in from the left of your screen. It's bending the magnetopause in the normal spot for this or the average is about 12 right in here it's been under pressure it's now it's bouncing back out but what's watch what starts to happen here your standoff distance is going to decrease proton density is going to increase it stops at 20.1 protons a centimeter cubed standoff dif distance at 9.4 re i have seen it get to five when cern was cranked up 459 kilometers per second far, and I'll show you. We're going to look at the current solar wind speed, temperature, and the proton density. Now, if you come to our website, scroll down on the left, you'll find two links that are put together uh, for on purpose, space weather and solar ham. First, let's go to space weather, and solar ham is where you see the CME tracking models. So these are two links right here, bpearthwatch.com. Space weather first. Now, you've got two different solar wind speed satellites that are watching this, the ACE and the Discover. Now, I like to watch the Discover. It's a little easier for me, and they kind of lay it out very well. Click there. Now, this is very current, and in the top, you've got the density, which is very important because as you, this rises, the stronger the brick wall that's coming at us as far as our um, the uh, magnetopause and the planet itself, especially the tectonic plates. And here in the uh, proton density, we are again like we just saw around 20.7. The average is very low, but what they're talking about, we'll go ahead and look at that model one more time, is possibly getting up to 60, but you can see it rise. Now, the solar wind speed jumped up to 480. I think I saw 502 in here earlier today. Right there, 502, that's kilometers per second. Guys, when you're dealing with that type of speed right there at 502, I'm going to just give you the reference of that. And guys, there are calculators out there online where you can go from KMS or kilometers per second to miles per hour. That's what I did here. That is 1,118,468,014 miles per hour. That's 500. We saw it go 502, right? We could see this thing hit the seven or eight hundreds before it's over with in that you're talking about over 1500 or 1.5 million to 1.6 million miles per hour but this speed along 1 million 118 thousand miles per hour guys is unfathomable to the human mind and guys as we look at this the peak on this graph is 600 kilometers per second that could change the same way that we've seen the proton density chart go from 5, 10 to 15. This one goes to 100 now. They changed the charts to um, be able to show the peaks. You understand what I'm saying? 
Now let's take a look at the current CME chart, guys. Not much has changed as far as the timing. Let me point out something. Here's the first CME. The second one, the large one, will come out, and the, they will be cannibalized, the first two. That's when they're calling it a cannibal CME. But notice right here, you've got a rise right there, and then it drops back, and then it starts to climb here. And then there's a brick wall of a sudden impact that's telling you how strong it is. Again, the, this is plasma density. The That's the power of this thing. And normally this would be 5, 10, 15, but they've allowed to up to 60. And what we're talking about now in the last uh, solar wind speed chart was 20 was the peak. So it could go triple that. Now, again, the charts in the green represent Earth. The blue and red ones indicate stereo A and B on both sides. Here on this radio velocity, we're already at the 500 mark and peaking up across it. But notice these rises and dips. That's what they're indicating. There's a second one here at the beginning of this impact, 2200 hours. Uh, that's UTC time again. But as we get to 0600 right here, that's going to be that brick wall. Let me back it up just a minute. Look at that sudden climb. A lot of times you'll see gradual increases. But when that wall of plasma density hits us, guys, I don't see how that we will not see impacts on many things. Communication, possible tectonic plate shifting, things like that. But that is it at 0600. Again, UTC time. That's five hours ahead of the East Coast during daylight savings time. So... You're about 1 o'clock as far as the impact east coast, 2 o'clock central on across the nation. But again, you have a window of plus or minus 7 hours on the impact of these because they're uh, it's kind of like muzzle velocity. They leave the sun very fast. By the time the shot gets out far enough, in this case 93 million miles between the sun and the planet, uh, things will slow down some. That's why they allow themselves that window. But that's going to be an impact point again. 1 o'clock, that's the middle of the window. East Coast, 2 o'clock Central Time, 3 o'clock. But that would be Mountain Time, the West Coast, 4 o'clock in the morning. But that's what we're looking at, guys. Again, I'll put the links to what we're looking at below. And uh, just if you're interested in this, keep an eye on it. Also, the very top link on the left side of BP Earth Watch is there for a reason, and it's the earthquake monitor. It might be very important. We're watching it, guys. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.